Hey, I'm Nick. So I'm going to show us around the uh, chemistry building and our uh, Exciton Science Lab within. We're on the third floor, so there's going to be a lot of stair climbing. The entrance to our Exciton Science Labs here, just our offices at the start. And um, over here is where the, where the magic happens. There's my office. And there's our director's office there, Paul. And this is uh, where we caffeinate ourselves, which is a very important aspect of research science, making sure we stay motivated. <laughs> um, yeah, and this is the lab. So this is where we spend a lot of our time and do a lot of the work. So this is all of our optical characterization room. This is where we study some of the materials we make, look at how they absorb and emit light. Hey, Bing Chen. Sorry to interrupt you. Um, yeah, basically we're looking at a, a fluorometer here. So it measures fluorescence or, or light emission. Um, Ding Chen's looking at the fluorescence of one of his samples. Lots of other equipment here to characterize light and how our samples interact with light, absorb and emit it. Uh, this is actually um, a sputter coater, if I'm not wrong. Yeah, so <laughs> here Dom is actually sputtering metals onto his sample, essentially depositing very, very, very thin films of metal onto a piece of probably glass. There we go, it was a good guess. This is one of my favorite bits of equipment. Um, I spend a lot of time uh, inside, at least my arms, inside this, this box. Um, uh, we call it a glove box for obvious reasons. It's got giant gloves coming on it and it's full of nitrogen gas and currently 0.1 parts per million oxygen. So very, very low amount of oxygen in this box. And we use this to make uh, materials which are really, really sensitive to air and moisture. That's our dishwasher, very important. We spend a lot of time in chemistry labs cleaning glassware, so it's nice to have a dishwasher to do it for us. This section of our lab is actually where we do all of our, um, what we call wet chemistry, or basically uh, synthesis uh, involving, you know, making nanomaterials, making new types of materials. Stereotypical chemistry lab here. Um, uh, essentially, uh, we've got here, you know, lots of samples being, being made simultaneously at different temperatures, um, different types of environments, so we can control whether they're, they're under vacuum or nitrogen or air or this kind of thing. Um, and of course, all of this is happening inside a, a fim hood which extracts all of the potentially harmful vapors away from us. This is my bench space here. So obviously very clean and tidy. Uh, this is where I sp spend a lot of my time. Currently I'm making a lot of magnetic materials. These are magnetic nanoparticles, actually making them for use in um, medical tests like tests and things like this. This is one of our laser rooms. This is a bit of kit that I use quite a lot. Um, dynamic light scattering. Basically what this is doing is using light to figure out the size of a nanoparticle. We're building some new laser setups in here. So all under construction, um, lots of new equipment coming in, but uh, that's going to be pretty exciting in the next couple of months. We've got some microscopes coupled to lasers to look at samples. So for example, to look at um, a single fluorescence of a, of a nanoparticle or to look at the way that nanoparticles, individual nanoparticles behave over time um, under laser excitation. 3D printer and basically make whatever we want. Um, so this is a little stage to, to hold two fiber optic cables, which can then be used to, to have light coming in and out into a sample for some of those laser setups we were just looking at. Um, Actually, this is something I'm printing right now to stop bottles from falling over, which is pretty mundane, but also very important. <laughs> um, um, just we had a bottle fall over in one of our fridges and started leaking and it was a complete mess. So now I'm printing some little stages to hold bottles upright and stop them tipping over when they're in a fridge. So this is where we sit and have lunch together. Um, actually, over the last year, we've all been doing the, the quiz, the age quiz together every lunchtime, which has been a nice um, bonding experience, especially during COVID. <laughs> um, and yeah, this is, um, I guess, a, a daily ritual, which is um, a nice way to end the, the lab tour, I think. So thanks. <laughs>